that's what I wanted to tell you about this. The when the big money for the Smiling Irishman started to come in is when Ed Forbes Senior and Junior ran, because they ran a campaign second to none. That was the year that Mike Malone he ran against. Um, and he had a certain number of people, too. That's when people really got into it. Prior to that time, it was just like, okay, well, we'll meet down here. There'll be $3 charged for, you know, to get in the door, and that's that, blah, blah, blah. And they didn't care how much money they raised. But that year was very different because Ed Forbes Sr. and Jr. both, I mean, Ed Forbes Jr. had all the policemen, you know, if they couldn't be there, then they would send. We were getting checks from them weeks after the, the, it was over. You know, after it was over. But, I mean, oh, he walked in the, huh? That was the first time that they raised, like, two grand. And and the, and it went up because of all the checks that, that came in later. So that was, in whatever year that was, and they won... Together, Ed Forbes Sr. and Jr. became the Smiling Irish Men of the Year.